in this section of the video, we're going to be talking about time and sales. Time and sales is a way for you to, you as a trader, to go back and look at how time affects sales. So there's a lot of different ways that we can actually do that. So if we are on a homepage of, a, of any stock here, so right now I have Apple open, you'll see this little link up here called time and sales. Now you can also access time and sales through the apps by going to my apps and then going through time and sales. But I'm going to access it through here. Uh, automatically links me to the stock that I have open, so that way I can see um, the rel relevant information. So time and sales, there's a few elements to it. We're not going to be covering all of them in this, uh, in this overview, but a few of the aspects. So the first one that comes up is um, the actual trade log itself. And a trade log is it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, what we have here are we have the times of the market and what's, uh, what's actually being traded. So if I were to go back earlier in the day, I could see it at this time on this particular exchange, Apple was trading at 609.71. So the trade price at that time was 609.71. So this gives me an actual time stamp to be able to go back and do uh, spot checking uh, on my trades to see if they cleared at the right price at the right time. I can see what the trade volume was at that time, what the bed, best bid and ask was, and then also look at volume turnover at that time and what the flow of money was and what kind of sale it was. So now that information is important because then we can see exactly how the prices flowed throughout the day. And that leads to some other information that we can look at. One is volume weighted average price. Okay, so volume weighted average price is a great bit of information because it helps us understand price in relation to volume. If we take the two and put them together, we can sometimes see that vol volume weighted average price, so a price that's more weighted by volume, can either be turning up or down before standard price because more money might be going into it, more money might be coming out of it. It helps us understand that direction of the market. So we can see here, if we look at, uh, at Apple right now, it has a, a volume weighted average price of 613.99. Okay, so I can, it helps me look at a standard pricing. Okay, so some of the other tabs we have up here is we have volume at price. Okay, so what happens is, is it breaks it out by price. So if right here I'm looking at 607.67, I can see there is a large amount of volume on that actual price. So that's a price that is very congruent to people wanting, wanting to trade. Okay, a good way to look at this is actually this volume at price tab over here because it actually charts it out. And this actually becomes very interesting because you can say right here at 614.19 we had a large amount of volume. So what happened there? Who was buying? So you can actually go in there and look at this and see how much of the, of the buying was happening at this price or how much of the selling was happening at this price to understand the money flow. And that's where this comes in and, and being able to see the money flow versus the price. So it gives you that relationship between the two. So this is just a quick overview of the Time and Sales app and what you're able to access, what kind of information. I hope you found this video useful. As always, if you have questions, uh, give us a call here at Metastock.